First, we will enter the notes in the treble staff. Click on the simple entry tool. The purple cursor with the line appears in measure one. To select the note duration, press a number on your typewriter numeric keypad or the number row if you are using the laptop shortcut table. The first note in the score is a half note, so I'll press 6 to select that duration. The purple cursor shows the duration you selected. Then I'll press letter E to enter the pitch. For the second and third notes, I'll press 5 for the quarter note value and press letters E and D. Continuing on, I'll press 6 for half note and letters C, C, D. Then 5 for quarter note and letters D, F, E, D. Then 6 for half note and letter C. In measure 5, when I press letter G, it enters in the wrong octave. I'll just undo my last command by pressing Control Z on Windows. That's Command Z on Mac. Before entering this G, I'll press Shift plus the up arrow key to set the cursor up closer to the correct octave region. Then when I press G to enter the pitch, it is entered in the correct octave. If you wish to change the octave of a note that has already been entered, use your left or right arrow key to navigate to the note and highlight it. Then press Shift plus the up or down arrow to change the octave. Now I'll press the right arrow key several times to bring the purple cursor back to measure 5, beat 3, so I can finish entering the notes. I'll press 5 for quarter note and letters G and F. Press 6 for half note and letter E. 5 for quarter and letter E and then the period to add the dot. Press 4 for eighth value and letter E. 5 for quarter and letters D and C. 4 for eighth, letters D, E, and right after I entered the E, I'll press the shortcut T to enter a tie. 5 for quarter and letter E, 6 for half, letter C, plus a period to add the dot. To enter the quarter rest, I'll press 5 for quarter value and zero. If you wish to fill up the end of the measure with rests, you can also just press the right arrow key once or twice if needed to advance your cursor to the next measure. Then for the last note, I'll press seven for whole note value and letter C. Use these shortcut keys to add markings to a note as you enter it or after you've entered it in the staff. I already showed you T to add a tie and the period key to add a dot to a note. You can also press plus to add a sharp or minus to add a flat or N to make a note natural. Go ahead and enter all of the treble staff notes. Don't worry about the extra measure that was added at the end. We will delete that later.